G'day folks, I'm the Coffee Bush Kid. Today we are working again on the rocker box. It is a glorious winter's day. And today we are going to cut out this shape on the sides of our rocker box. So there's a couple of measurements we've got to look at and one in particular we've got to look at closely. We can see here we want to come up 90 mil from the bottom. We can see on this one that we are 150 mil down from the top. That's all great. But the really important one is I need to have 380 millimetres on the inside of these two pieces. So to get our external measurement, we need to have 380 millimetres plus two lots of 17. Now that comes to 414 millimetres. So I've given you enough figures now. Let's look at how it all will pan out and then we'll get into the cutting part. Alrighty, so we've got our stick of inches. We've got a pencil. What I'm gonna do is I'll mark them both out but in mirror so that I'm not cutting through two thicknesses of, of stuff all at once. So we wanna have 414 millimetres for this one. And what I'm just gonna do is mark that there. I can come onto this one, do the same thing at 414. Mark it there, glorious. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'll get my adjustable square. And at this point, I'm just gonna draw a line straight down. So it's one line for there, one line for there. Now with these adjustable squares, the beauty of them is, is of course you can adjust them. Now I want 150 millimetres, so I'm gonna get that right to there. Coming back on this line that I've just drawn, and apparently not quite long enough, I can mark the bottom here, so we'll redraw that just a fraction longer, and then I can just cross there. I have to cut along this line, but that's our start to head over to this one. Now this section is where all the water is going to come running out. It needs to be 90 millimetres. So we will just mark that. So I've got 90 there. I've got 90 there. Now I'll get a longer edge, uh, straight edge of our square. And I can just go from this marked piece here to our 90 millimetres there. And I go, yep, that looks pretty good. One, we'll do this one. Now 90 mil to 150. Yep, happy enough with that. There it is. So this section now and this section is getting cut out and that will then give us our shape of our rocker box. So the next thing to do, grab a saw, we'll get cutting. Okay, I got a couple of sliding F clamps. I really like sliding F clamps because they're all adjustable. So we're just gonna put one there. I'm gonna put one on the outside here. And all that is, is just to hold everything nice and steady. Now, today we are going old school. I've got me a panel, hack, uh, panel handsaw. Now, some folks will want to do this with a jigsaw. Some might want to do it with a circular saw. Yes, you can. I just prefer a handsaw. The blade on a jigsaw is only very small and you can do multiple, multiple wiggle lines with that. A circular saw, yes, you can cut into that until you get into this section. Then you've still got to finish with either a, a jigsaw or a handsaw. So I'm just gonna go handsaw outright. We're gonna do the first cut down into here on both the panels and then we'll do the longer one and uh, that should be that part done. So we are cutting on the waist side of the line, not on, on the line and not on the inside of the line. And 
And when we get down to the line, just bring your saw back up to cutting vertical. And there we go. One, ah, ah, ah. We'll get the other one all set up. There we go, now we'll get set up for the next one. Remember when you do your cutting, we're cutting onto the waist side. And don't cut your saw horse either. As you get near the end, just support your weights piece so you don't snap out anything and make the the joint look uh, a bit gnarly. Job done. There we go. So, there we have it, the two sides of our rocker box. It's now looking like that traditional shape. So that's all good, everything turned out nicely. I'm happy with that. So, I'm the coffee bush kid and we're gonna leave it at that one for this time. And in our next episode, we're going to do all the marking out and pre-drilling for all the holes. Anyway, as I said, coffee bush kid, building the rocker box for the Mine Lab Show. <laughs>